Reporters. A joint team of security operatives are still on the chase of bandits that invaded the University of Abuja staff quarters and abducted two professors, one senior lecturer and three of their family members. The university community has been enveloped with fear of the unknown, even as they try to keep hopes alive, awaiting the freedom of all those in abduction. Senior correspondent Femi Akonde reports. An unusual day for the inhabitants of the University of Abuja staff quarters. The widespread insecurity was brought to their doorsteps. Seven people were forcefully taken from their homes. Among them are lecturers and some members of their families. Signs of the violent attack are evident. This is the room where Professor Obansam was taken. Two of his sons were also abducted, but one of them was later freed. Fidelis Obanta is still traumatized, but lucky to have regained his freedom from the daredevil criminals that took away his father, brother, and five others. I said there was 12.30, we heard gunshots um, and around the community, and um, it seems um, we are under attack, so we were able to gain access into our house and um, took some of our belongings, also went with um, some of us in the house. Residents here are grief-stricken. Despite assurances from security agencies that all those abducted will be rescued, sympathizers also throng the residents of the victims. They are shocked, afraid, but hopeful. You have to just stay strong and calm. I'm most impressed too by my mom because normally I know she's, when it comes to things like this, she panics easily. But I'm really happy at the way she has handled the whole situation so far. Uh, yeah, a few times she may have broken down in tears, but she's, she's, she's strong and we too all have to be stronger as well. These lecturer of philosophy and residents of the staff quarters watched helplessly through his window as all hell was let loose. He puts the blame on the doorstep of the federal government and the failure of security agencies to secure lives and property. Whatever is happening presently didn't begin today. I think uh, the inactivity, inaction of the federal government on the issue of addressing the holi uh, holistically the issue of uh, the security challenges in the country has led us to where we are today. Unless this issue of insecurity is addressed squarely and holistically from a very firm perspective, I am afraid what we are seeing is just a preamble. <laughs> that's, that, that's just my, my own viewpoint about the whole thing, about the whole, whole scenario playing out. The University of Abuja staff quarters does not have a perimeter fence. They are exposed to invaders hiding inside caves and valleys that are just a few kilometers from their homes. The vice chancellor of this institution had in the past complained about the presence of bandits that have set up camps in the vast land of the school premises, but it seems nothing was done and the bandits enjoyed a field day. How long will the university community and families wait to be reunited with the abducted lecturers? And how long will residents here wait until their vulnerable and porous neighborhood is secured? And how will they go to bed knowing that the attackers might strike again? So many uncertainties, so many questions, and still no answer. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.